how can, I mean, obviously we don't want them writing an essay or they shouldn't write an essay like they talk on social media. Uh, that would not be, that would not be right. But how can they write in a, in a mature way, uh, professional way and still maintain their voice and sound like them and tell their story? Yeah, um, finding voice is, is kind of tricky. I think it takes a little while for that to happen for most people. I think um, initially um, apprehensive writers will write um, in a way where their writing feels a little bit stilted or a little stiff. Um, sometimes we'll start writing and it'll sound way too academic um, or it sounds way too much like you're um, sort of building a pedigree. And uh, yeah, and so um, storytelling seems to me to be the way to go. So um, how I explain that sometimes is this, is that the word essay actually means to, to weigh something. And so um, you choose an experience to explore, but you're, you're not arguing, you're not trying to correct anything, you're not trying to incriminate anyone, you're not trying to necessarily then sort of walk out into a major epiphany. You're just trying to weigh it, to look at it for a little while and stay with it. And once you begin that, I think um, voices start to soften and they start to relax into their own kind of language. And then we go back uh, to the revision process over and over and over again until um, you can kind of stand with every word that you use. Um, that's one way. And the other way is to take something you've written and read it out loud. If you're, if you're stumbling through what, you're, what you've written, you're not really finding your voice because we have rhythms and we have paces and we have patterns to um, our voice on the page. And it might correspond a little bit with our conversational voice, but it's not the same thing as talking. Great. Yeah. I actually recommend reading out loud as a, a great way to proof. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I still do that. So do I. Yeah. So do I.